Hello YouTube, it's finally here that the developers are already started working on porting Android Oreo to the OnePlus 3 and in this video I will be walking through this ROM which is based on the Lineage OS 15 Android O and the developer name is Akil Naran. Here I will walk you through all the features as well as the installation method for how to install this ROM on your OnePlus 3 and 3T because it supports both 3 and 3T because this is a unified. So let's go ahead and check out all the features. First of all, go to settings menu, system, about phone. You can find I'm, I'm using the version 8.0.0 Android all. And here you can see the Android security patch level plus other build number. First of all, this is not a daily driver yet because camera is not working. Here in this dead thread, the developer mentioned almost all the features that are working or not. If you see here, camera is not working and then Bluetooth stuff. In fact, Bluetooth is working fine for me because I am able to connect to other, devi other devices through Bluetooth. And alert slider is not working, it's not functional. As well as screen of gesture is also not working at the moment. As a developer, developer mentioned here, it will be ordered soon. So let's go ahead and check out more details about the DOM. So this is the phone menu. And this is contacts, as well as the lineage based messaging app, as well as browser. If you open your menu, you can find all these applications installed by default. The developer tools, music, gallery, messaging, settings, recorder, sim tools, and even the file manager. And features here you can see from the notification panel. So if you pull down the status bar, you can find all these settings here and you can directly go and open each and every settings from here. If you pull down this menu, you can, you'll be able to see the user switch as well as edit and then settings menu. These are the options available on top. That if you're pulling down your notification area, you can see a nice animation is coming here. Let's go ahead and check out the settings menu. You can here on top you can find network and internet where you'll be able to turn on the hotspot. And there, by the way, Wi-Fi and mobile data is working fine. And SIM cards, both SIM cards are working fine. VPN uh, option is available by default. You can add the VPN details and airplane mode. And the connected devices you can find Bluetooth, Cast, NFC, Android Beam, Trending. Here we have the apps and notifications. So we will be have getting all the information about the apps and the notification, the app notifications, and then settings you can play with. You can find the app permissions. So let's play all the application permission for different system places. You in the app advanced sections you can find default apps for each. Uh, then emergency broadcast special access and we have the uh, battery and battery you'll be getting a more detailed view of the battery usage apps system phone idle wi-fi mobility so it, it is like more detailed view here you have the battery saver as well as battery percentage icon if you want to turn on the status bar and then adaptive brightness sleep you can find all the applications that are using the apps here on the top we can see so show full device usage so you'll be able to see all the android system and other system related applications but it's, it will be better to have a just a usage notifications we have the battery optimizations then in the display we have this brightness level adaptive brightness wallpaper advanced we have the device rotation phone size display size to change the DPI, screen saver, and then ambient display. But there is no lift up display, so ambient display will be turned on when any new notifications came. And then tap to wake up is working fine. And when you can see here, there is a uh, when device is in VR, so we are getting more control over the VR uh, Android Oreo storage. It will be listing all the storage details to uh, story manager, and then see most of the informations then in security location we have the google play protect find my device security update details there so pretty 
convenient for us to see all these details on top. Uh, fingerprint is actually working fine, but it's not that responsive as in the other ROMs, so it needs to be uh, perfected. No password, device admin apps, you will, can find all of them here. Encryption and details, whether the phone is encrypted or not. Screen pinning is not working because it's bringing the device to state, so don't try that one. Stability, you will find the phone size, display size, magnification, large mouse cursor and other things that you can play with even the color corruption is here then color inversion so these are the options available from this room as you can see there is no camera app so this is not at all useful as a daily driver but let's give some time for the developer and he will be coming with all these features and if you would like to know how to install this ROM you need to first go to the link down below for the XT8 forum and you will be able to f download the rom as well as the g apps and if you didn't root your phone then i will provide all the links in the description which will show you how to root your oneplus 3 and then how to install any custom rom on your phone just go ahead and check through all these links and you will be able to flash it so so guys what do you think about this Android Oreo port, early port to the OnePlus 3T. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.